Hi, and welcome to Tim and Joel's Weekly Draw. Joel, on a scale of 1 to 30, how good do you think this year's Royal Rumble is going to be? Uh... It doesn't matter what you think about the Royal Rumble, because it is the most electrifying match in all of sports entertainment, and Pat Patterson's legacy, and tonight is going to be excellent. I was going to answer number 27, but what the hell was that, man? No, 30. It's 30. 30 out of 30. Tonight's going to be gold. I'm, I'm willing it into being. I'm practicing the secret. Let's go. <laughs> you got a vision board, too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mostly just abs. Abs. Like individual okay. ones. <laughs> just splattered across. Did you make eight, <laughs> six... Uh, no, I'm going for 12. Shoot for the moon, man. 12. Well, we don't have 12 matches on the card tonight for the Royal Rumble. Instead, we have, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six? Five kind of six. Five kind of six. Let's start with it. A match that will most likely be on the pre-show is the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match between champions Asuka and Charlotte Flair taking on Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Baszler and Jax getting a rematch for the titles that they lost to Asuka and Flair back at TLC when Charlotte Flair made her big return to WWE. Now, Tim, two questions. Will Lacey Evans factor into the finish? Uh, I'm feeling, yeah. Like, they might take the belts off of Charlotte and Asuka already, which would be weird. But I would not be surprised, just for because, I don't know, I feel like they feel... Like, they need to do that to get to a Charlotte Flair, Lacey Evans singles kind of program, so. Meanwhile, Asuka, who is the Raw Women's Champion, I bet you didn't know that, has been lost in the shuffle. So I guess the big question for her is going to be, where to next? And we might find that out later on in the Women's Royal Rumble, which we'll be talking about in a few minutes. But will Charlotte turn maybe on her tag team partner now, later? talking about Rumble match and Char and Asuka needing a, a challenger down the line for the Raw Women's Championship? Yeah, I, I don't see that happening. I see them losing the belts and then moving on to separate programs, and then, you know, Charlotte will be back there post-Mania, I think, pretty immediately. A good match ahead for these four women, and let's move on what will possibly be the main card. Starting with the WWE Championship match, champion Drew McIntyre defends against Goldberg and Bill all Goldberg. eyes are on this one. William Bill, Goldberg. William Thick Thin Skin Goldberg <laughs> yeah. loves 1998 <laughs> wrestling more than anything. All right. Goldberg has two matches per year. Do we burn them both in three months, Tim? Uh, I'm sure he would like to. Yeah. I mean, well, technically, this is the second match this year, no? No, this would be the first. Well, WrestleMania. It was last year. Was it? 2020. 2020. Oh, this is 2021. Oh, man. Uh, that'd be nice. It'd be great if they get these out of the way quick. But I know what that means. And I don't like what that means. So, You see, I'm on the other side of things. I would rather Goldberg come in, lose tonight at the Rumble. Yep. And then, instead of seeing him, I don't know, show up in the Royal Rumble, win it, and go on to WrestleMania or something. Or whatever it could be. I would rather see... Goldberg show up at say SummerSlam and challenge someone to a one-on-one -on -one, just a singles match like he did with Dolph Ziggler back in SummerSlam 2019 in Toronto yeah where it turned out to be just a, a fun match Goldberg comes back hits the spear a bunch of times and it's a little bit comedy and a little bit serious but Goldberg has fun I would rather that because I don't hate Goldberg when Goldberg is not being pushed to a title true 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 um and I mean, if they don't have a whole lot of plans for him this year, he could, I don't know, make him lose tonight and then put him in the Rumble and lose the Rumble. And then boom, it's over. <laughs> Who knows saying. how quickly it could be over for you. <laughs> but speaking of being over, we've got the Miz and his Money in the Bank briefcase lurking in the shadows of this match. Any chance Miz cashes in tonight and maybe creates another three-way or maybe cashes in when uh, someone pins someone else? What do you think? Yeah, maybe I can see them doing like a weird false finish where Miz thinks that the match is over, cashes in. But yeah, it turns into like a three way somehow. Um, he's made his intentions clear. Like the goal is to cash in after the match is over. Um, but it does feel like that's going to get uh, confounded somehow. So I'll put it like this. A championless Raw is not a strong Raw. No. And Raw lately has not been strong. 
No, it has not. And uh, yeah, it, it's been a weird week this week. So uh, I, I'm curious to see the decisions that they make in this rumble because like like this this pay-per-view has significant implications for how the next three months are going to go, right? So I'm very, very interested. There are a lot of different ways they can take things. It's hard for me to predict a lot of these things, uh, which is good. But it's just they there is some dangerous decisions they could make. <laughs> Speaking of dangerous decisions, the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line as champion Sasha Banks defends against Carmella. Uh, I say dangerous because there could be a world in which Carmella wins the SmackDown Women's Championship. Set up maybe Banks wins a rematch. Maybe she wins a chamber, wins it back at Fastlane, face someone else at WrestleMania. Uh, my question to you, Tim, is... Uh, what are the odds of Sasha Banks retaining her title tonight? I'd, I'd say like 66%. Like, I feel like that's the direction it's going to go. But it's not like Carmella doesn't have a, a claim to it. So. Wouldn't mind seeing Flip Flop and Reggie get involved once again. And the two of these uh, women had a really, really good match TLC. So I'm looking forward to a very, very strong return bout. Uh, and finally about this match. Going into WrestleMania, what do you think will be the bigger title match for the women's championship? The one from Raw or the one from SmackDown? I feel like SmackDown might actually have the better shot of, of being the more hyped match right now. Because I, I do see Sasha Banks picturing and I feel like, or featuring in there. Um, and I feel like her profile is elevated quite a bit to the point where she's going to have like a pretty special moment this year. Like... Well, there you go. The Universal Championship will be on the line in a last man standing match as champion Roman Reigns takes on Kevin Owens. We've seen this match a couple times, but it's never not been good. A very personal rivalry. Uh, and for those keeping track, this is Roman's second special stipulation match at a Rumble in the last two years. Last year, he had a very gr really grueling encounter with Baron Corbin in a Falls Count Anywhere match, which featured the, uh, the spear on the dugout. Oh, so, yeah. Tim... After all of this, because we have a Canadian in the room, do we have to go for Kevin Owens? I mean, or will I, the tribal chief win again. Beyond uh, nationalist sentiments, I'm I'm just all here for KO. I want him to win, but and I think there's a lot of narrative, like meat they can get into if if Roman does lose. Um, will they touch that? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I think Roman's going over. Uh, I don't see how they do that without making this match last 50 minutes, but we'll see. I'm very curious. It'll, they'll have to do something special to Kevin Owens to have him stay down, you know? Yeah. And meanwhile, for Roman Reigns, I didn't actually, I normally keep track of this, how many, uh, how many, uh, title defenses this has been for him, but I will let you know, I'm almost positive every single major title defense he's had has had some sort of stipulation at this point. Wow. Yeah. That's telling. I Are fans getting to a point where maybe they're getting a little bored of the tribal chief having matches in which he cheats to win? Is it maybe time for Roman Reigns to come out with a big non-invasive victory? Yeah. I don't know. I don't... I feel like the way that they've built it, he's still going to have outside help. I, like, I still see either Jay or somebody else coming in and, and working to his benefit to keep KO down. Because, like, KO's entire character is, you know, fight Owens fight. He's not going to quit. Um, unless something, you know, intense happens to him. So I either see, like, a, a, a high up spot or, you know, like, there's going to be some big spot to finish this match. Uh, if Roman keeps it, I see someone else interfering to help as well. It's just, or they, or they do make him lose because people might be starting to get a little bit tired of, of Roman being super dominant while cheating. So like, maybe this is a, a, a direction they can take and still have him in the main event picture. Like by all means, like he still should be up at the top. It's just, yeah. And then maybe get his clean victory on the comeback. Either KO stuns the world or Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, sends KO back home from the island of relevancy. No. The Women's Royal Rumble match is a big match for this year. 
Natalia won a match versus Tamina on WWE backstage to secure number 30. She also posted a photo of her with Trish Stratus on her Ooh. Instagram. She's either trolling or she's spoiling. So with all of the stories and all of the hoopla surrounding the Women's Royal Rumble match, Tim, who do you think will win the Women's Royal Rumble match. We got a lot of case. We got a lot of viable candidates, sir. Uh, Honestly, buzz might be enough. Might be Bianca Belair. Okay. Maybe. You don't think that the win on SmackDown may have prohibited her from winning? Like her and Bailey haven't had the right run yet. So it is quite possible. Um, There's money in Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks. And I don't know if waiting a full year to make that happen makes sense. But we'll see. Uh, Sometimes it feels like WWE doesn't have their, you know, finger on the pulse, really. So might not happen. It could happen. It'd be a good idea. But yeah. So that's one option. Uh, We've also got the make good of Rhea Ripley. I can see her being a surprise entrant because she hasn't been called up yet. But she hasn't been on NXT. But she's definitely, you know, been called up. Uh, And... You know, maybe maybe the 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 fan sentiment from last year has bled its way into WWE. I didn't really feel too strongly about about what happened at last year's Mania, but a lot of people did. Uh, so I can see WWE trying to do a make good with that, have her win the Rumble, do a program probably with Oscar this year. Speaking of surprise entrance, because you bring up Rhea Ripley, is there anyone else that you would love to see make a surprise entry into this year's Women's Royal Rumble? My heart tells me it's going to be either people like like uh, Molly Holly again or or like, you know, Mickey, who is maybe retired, maybe not. Um, you know, they were talking to Tori not that long ago. So, like, I see older wrestlers showing up. That's that's what I see. I don't know about about it. Well, you'll see some people from NXT, it sounds like. But that's not really a surprise to me, considering last year was pretty flush with them. So. Yeah, last year's Women's Royal Rumble was very much a, uh, a look to the future after yeah. the year before being more like a look to the past. Like that's the I, that might have been the first time I it was either that year or the year before his Rumble was the first time I saw Rhea Ripley. And I was like, well, because, again, I didn't watch for a while, only watch the Rumbles. I saw Rhea Ripley come in and like larger than life, like barely had her character established yet. But I was like, this is this lady's going to be special. Like. <laughs> uh, other surprise entrants I think they'll do a make good with Candice Michelle have her come in uh, I do think that Molly Holly is a possibility um, I still I, 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 who else do I really think I, I think there will be other NXT talent but like you said it'll be more legends than NXT this time maybe they'll balance it out a little bit better yeah. um, but I can tell you who I think the winner will be alright let's hear yours it's Lana Oh man, yeah, that's possible. That's very Lana very, comes very back possible. after being out since December with an injury. Yeah, she is. She had a match against Nia Jax on Raw months before the injury, saying, "You know, this is a WrestleMania caliber main event," and they meant to put that in there. She's been turned into this sympathetic baby face, taken out on all reins, and then when she was about to win the Women's Tag Team Championships. She got pulled out. That builds sympathy, Tim. So yeah. now you come in, she'll be hot to the Thunderdome crowd, and you can continuously build her as a potential winner for the Rumble. All you need to do, just like that last bottle royal, all you needed to do was toss the other person out. Then she has three months to prove to the world that she is as good of a wrestler as she is because she realistically she is she's not a flashy wrestler but she's safe in the ring yeah, she's, she's capable. good at her job she's very capable and she's a good storyteller if you watch her cut promos not live on tv as much but the promos she'll cut on social media she definitely has a good handle on being the sympathetic baby face yeah so she's been taking photos with like the boot and stuff uh which i think is a work right um, yeah, and it's commitment too here's the thing i don't think that they need to have her win to give her a WrestleMania match that's like well, well built, right? Um, because in order to do that, they're likely going to have to get the title on Nia in the next month. So she'll have to win something at at, uh, at Elimination Chamber. However, Lana comes in. She does a really strong showing in the Rumble. Eventually, Nia 
crushes that dream in the match. They set up for a match at Mania, the two of them. No title, just the two of them. But Time will tell. But that's mm-hmm. my pick is Lana. I think it'd be a, a little bit of a surprise to most. But uh, we've done it before here, and we've taken the victory lap. I'm ready to do it again. All right. Let's, let's see. We'll find out tonight. Speaking of victory laps, let's talk about the men's Royal Rumble match. The winner, of course, gets to face the champion of the choice at WrestleMania. We know that Randy Orton and Edge will start at numbers one and two, respectively. Uh, we don't know any other numbers. We just know a bunch of contestants and a bunch of entrants. Are there any surprise entrants for you that you would like to see? Surprise? Uh, again, like, no, not really. I can't think of anyone immediately that, that would kind of tick that box. I don't know. Carlito, Hurricane Helms, and Damien Priest making his debut. Yeah, I, 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 Damien Priest is in there. It's just I also don't think I want that to be his debut in WWE, right? Like, I would like that. I would like to, him to come in in a way that makes a bit more sense, but... And Dabakato. <laughs> yeah, bring back Dabakato. <laughs> Where is Dabakato? That's the only I question know. I have every Monday night when Raw is on my television screen. Where is Dabakato? Where are a lot of people, man? They're just <laughs> fading into the <laughs> background. Like, I don't know. We're currently living in a world where, unfortunately, the answer is not always one we want to uh, report on. Yeah, so, where's where's Rey Mysterio's ooh. friend? <laughs> it's outside yes, hell. exactly. <laughs> it just has not materialized. <laughs> uh give me a winner and a case for the winner who who have you got oh man uh while i really really love edge and orton starting neither one of them is going to win um obviously because they don't need the title in the picture for this i I really don't think uh hmm who should win the men's otis obviously but probably (laughs) he's so big you can't throw him over (laughs) <laughs> Unless you're Bianca Belair, who can put her put him on her shoulders and then just you well, know, yeah, he started elevating too. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Like, if the WWE is stuck in its short term mentality, it might be Nakamura, <laughs> just because he's he's on fire. You know, like they they gave him the quick 180 heel to face turn with barely any like justification, uh, other than he did well in a match. People on social media loved him. And I guess that's enough to be like, oh, he's a good guy now. He told Sami Zayn to go to hell. See, that's it. We don't need to do anything else. Him and Cesaro aren't friends anymore. Cesaro is still a bad guy. Like, okay. Love to see Cesaro. Don't see that happening. Um, What about odds on favorite Daniel Bryan? No, 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 no. He's already got it. Uh, I think that the way that they're hamming that up, I just don't see them doing it twice. Again, I, I don't think he needs that for his final run to be special. So who you got? Who's going to be your guy? <sighs> or guys, if you have to. Bill Goldberg. <laughs> so you think Goldberg is going to lose the championship <laughs> match and then enter himself into the Royal Rumble, win the Royal Rumble, and face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania? That's this week this week was so bad that maybe... <laughs> <laughs> like, this might just be the big old twist of the knife to cap this week off in WWE. Well, if you were watching a WWE on Fox on their YouTube channel, Ryan Satin did interview Goldberg, and Goldberg did once again call out Roman Reigns, talking about their football backgrounds and how Georgia Tech versus Florida State and throwing gatorade and not having gatorade it was a whole shtick but anyway it's not out of the realm of possibility tim oh that sounds awful can i give you mine yes please please make it be better than mine (laughs) although i'm kind of closer to goldberg than you are on this uh let's go with john morrison yes and we talked about this on our show tim and joel call it the ring every thursday night 8 p.m eastern tim and joel.com Sorry, timandjoelpod.com. Uh, I forgot the show name. So, yes, we have Miz, the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. Let's say Goldberg does win the WWE Championship. We have Goldberg versus Royal Rumble winner John Morrison. And then the Miz calls his shot, and it becomes a triple threat match at Peacock Mania night number one. <laughs> oh, 
no. <laughs> You're here to watch the world burn, Tim. Oh. Oh. Because they right? don't. I was I was about to ask you like, and then the Miz gets in there somehow, and it's Miz and Morrison. But like, I know WWE doesn't have that. They're they're both under what six foot six, so WWE probably doesn't want to see them in a main event match. So I don't know. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna go backwards for a second. The women's Royal Rumble match surprise entrance. I would like to see Taya Valkyrie show up. Oh, uh, damn! Yes, John yeah. John Morrison's uh, John Morrison's. Wife. Yeah, yeah, that I, would make I, my. I, night. I did mean to put that. Yeah, and that's totally so, a possibility. Honestly, like I'd love to see that. So Goldberg or John Morrison, those are my two Rumble picks for the men. We have it all, and it's gonna be tonight at the Royal Rumble on the WWE Network, starting at 6 p.m. for the pre-show, 7 p.m for the main card and friends i hope you enjoy it because the road to wrestlemania is part of the best time to be a wrestling fan i mean all times are great but when you get towards wrestlemania it's the best time tim where can the kids find you kids can find me at tim stone p t-i-m-b-s-t-o-n-e-p on twitter it's like your est yeah i'm gonna be very active tonight so be be around (laughs) this is what i live for the road to wrestlemania Yes, and you can follow us at Tim and Joel Pod. You can go to timandjoelpod.com or youtube.com slash timandjoelpod where you can subscribe to our videos. You can subscribe to our channel. You can watch our videos and, you know, do the whole like and share and things. Uh, And also you can find me at Joel Pearl, J-O-E-L-P-E-A-R-L. I am literally everywhere you want to find me. And until then, enjoy your rumble, enjoy your road to WrestleMania, and we'll see you next week enjoy the rumble